I can't wait to <laughs> he shares a name with John the Baptist. Arriba, 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 I'm not very good at it, so they're gonna teach me how to get better. <laughs> yeah, so let's skate. <laughs> in the morning went to the lab and then I went painting um, and we had like a little late lunch well by we I mean just me because um, uh, my friend had to go to Cape Town <laughs> and then I 
ended up like going back to town because um, I had waffles with my housemates and we ended up like getting drinks afterwards um, I'm so tired like I couldn't fall asleep last night I think I ended up falling asleep at like half past two and I had to get up at like seven this morning so I am dead <laughs> I'm just so tired um, but anyway I'm just gonna go to campus now um, Hopefully I should be done by like 12.30 because a girl is tired. Blow in, blow in. which doesn't make sense to me because it doesn't rain in Stellenbosch in, December, in November so tired like I'm just gonna take a little nap now I got back from campus at half past 12 um, or like quarter to one I can't remember but now it's almost two and yeah it's almost two I'm hungry but I'm so tired I don't know if I should eat and then nap or eat and clean my room <sighs> I don't know <laughs> hey besties so i actually fell asleep earlier i came back from the lab and i sat on my bed and i was just so tired that i just slept um and my sister phoned me that's what woke me up and i realized that i hadn't eaten so i had to go make myself something to eat and now i'm cooking dinner and i'm gonna try to tidy up my room because it's a hot mess like um being in the lab in the past week has really just made me neglect my personal wellness <laughs> and yeah so i really need to tidy up and yesterday i decided to like repot my plant so this plant um, so I decided to repot it and now there's sand everywhere and I need to clean that up and yeah So I'm just gonna do that while my food is cooking downstairs and yeah
just pick on him for the fun of it. It's like a hobby for some of these these lovers. Now, this was upsetting to him at a very young age. Eventually, though, Donald's mom did settle down and she would remarry. And it was said that his stepfather would beat him and his four half siblings on the daily. Now, growing up, Donald was a small kid. Well, you know, that's funny that I say that because, well, all kids are small. <laughs> but what I mean is that he was tiny in comparison to other kids his age, which during school would lead to kids making fun of him, teasing him. So to plan out my week in my bullet journal and I just write down like things that I need to get done um, during the week it just helps me stay organized um, this was actually my favorite spread look at this for October it was so cute September was actually such a cute spread um, yeah that's pretty much it <laughs> I haven't been doing that great um, in keeping my journal organized, but this is what it looks like. I got it at p and um, I really like it because it has like the dots and you can literally just be creative and do what you want in it. Um, I prefer this over a traditional journal. Hey besties, um, I hope I'm in the frame because I am re-filming this. Um, the first time it really wasn't in frame and I wasn't going to post that. Oh, let's try this. Actually. So basically, a few people on Twitter asked me for a story time. Well, I promised them a story time and it was literally just two people, but I still want to do the story time. <laughs> so earlier this year, I was hanging out with these um, TikTok stars and it was a very interesting interaction. So I initially didn't know who they were. Um, apparently, I was supposed to because they're famous on Twitter. I mean, on TikTok and yeah i met them through like music artists neon dreams and <laughs> this was a very interesting interaction so we uh went to a wine farm i think there was like nine or ten of us and we just like try to spread out around the table so everyone could interact with everyone else and because i didn't know who these guys were i asked the one guy like oh like are you guys also musicians like what do you guys do and this guy was like, do you not know who I am? And I was like, uh, am I supposed to know you? <laughs> and he literally was just like, oh yeah, you know, cause I'm on TikTok and I have like 5 million followers. And I was like, oh, okay. That's why I don't know you. Cause I'm not on TikTok. Um, yeah. And I basically tried to stop interacting with this person. Cause I was just like, he's giving off like, I'm too cool and I'm full of myself kind of energy. I'm gonna try to speak quickly because I kind of need to go in a few minutes but anyway so I left it there and I tried not to interact with him but then I saw him again at the concert um, that was around May and I bumped into him and he was just like do I know you and I was like uh, we hung out together at a wine farm and then we went to go like look at the sunset together but hi whatever <laughs> you don't have to know me it's not important and then the other one um he shares a name with john the baptist and <laughs> guys like sometimes i struggle to fathom or to believe that these things actually happened because it wasn't that deep but i personally was just like okay like i'd never interacted with 
influencers or socialites or whatever so this was really weird for me i'm sorry there's people yelling outside but anyway like these guy, this one guy who shares the name with john the baptist excuse me so we were all hanging out together and he was pretty funny and i was just like oh he's cool whatever and then when we like went to look at the sunset together i think we had like a whole entire conversation and even on the drive back to stellenbosch we had an entire conversation and i was sitting next to him in the car and afterwards like when we got out i was like oh my gosh you're funny you're cool let me follow you on instagram and he literally like typed in his handle into my phone and then i followed him in front of him and like this was on a friday on sunday when we were in camps bay we bumped into these two guys the one is a d the one is a dj and the other one is the tiktok star and the tiktok star was like um star sorry <laughs> well he does have eight million followers so he is pretty much a star and he makes it a point to point it out to people that he has eight billion followers um and he was basically like oh hi my name is john the baptist nice to meet you and i was like oh we already met um and he's like oh really where and i was just like i met you on friday and he was like oh yeah i think i remember you and then i just basically like stood there waited for my friends to finish talking to them because i was just like i i'm not vibing with these people i don't like these people i don't like being around these people because like they they kind of shitty um and so basically the other girl asked him like oh why didn't you follow me back on instagram because i followed you and he said some dumb shit like excuse my french guys like i'm just kind of annoyed about this whole situation so he was like um yeah you know i uh i can't follow people certain people back like there's specific types of people that he can follow back so like other influencers or socialites or radio d not radio presenters and he was just like yeah you know the thing is people try to piggyback off of my success and like you won't get famous if you follow me it really didn't make sense but basically he was just like no i'm not gonna follow you because I need to keep this fame to myself kind of vibe i don't know um yeah and i don't know that was just really really weird and i honestly didn't like interacting with them to a point where i i basically avoided interactions with them like if i knew that they were going to be in stellenbosch and my friends invited me to something where they were going to be i I literally flat out refused because I I don't like it when people are like that and I'm all for protecting my peace so if my interaction with you is gonna make me feel horrible then I won't interact with you the other guy shame he was really nice um, he was nice um, he just said something that kind of bothered me because he was talking about how he likes this other girl that was also at the event but he couldn't get together with her because he likes white girls um he's colored the girl that he liked is also colored and i i wasn't so much bothered about the fact that he has like a specific dating preference the only thing that bothers me about dating preferences is when you use that to talk badly about your own people so for example if you are a black man who only dates white or colored women and then you start saying things like yeah you know i don't date black girls because they're loud or oh because their hair looks like this or whatever like that's something that i find problematic about dating preferences because i feel like it's just an excuse to talk badly about your own women um but yeah that's that's the story time in summary it it wasn't that interesting it was just really horrible it was like a horrible experience for me personally um i feel like i'm the only person who was bothered by this whole thing because everyone else really liked the people and they interacted with them like further 
uh, yeah. So if you've made it this far, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you found the story time a little interesting. Please remember to like, share, subscribe, um, comment down below your thoughts, what you'd like to see next, and I'll see you next time. Bye! Thank mm -hmm. you.